Hi, today I wanted to show you how to mirror objects in ZBrush, just like in Blender or whatever. So, say this is a weird head I made uh, for the video, and I want to mirror this one. Imagine this is an ear. So, all you do is come to this place to access the sub tools and then hold the object that you want to duplicate and then, you know, duplicate it. Then you go to deformation. First, we were here, sub tool, and then we'll go to deformation. In the deformation, you see mirror, and then tap on mirror. And now it's on this side. Now, imagine if you wanted to like work on both of them at the same time. All you have to do is merge what you duplicated. So you tap here and merge down, right? If I don't look at if I don't merge down, look at if I work on this one, it doesn't affect here. So I'm going to double tap to undo that action, right? And merge down, and you see what happens when I don't do it. Always come here, and then to you could you, you can go to sub tool, you know, tap on sub tool, and then come to merge, merge down. Now they're together. And so, and make sure your mirror modifier, your symmetry is on. So this is this global symmetry is more important than this local symmetry. I still don't know what this one does. You know, it's not really that useful. So if I, it's supposed to do. Wait, let me see. I think I made a mistake here. Yeah, here. Yeah, it's working now. So that's how it does. And now it works together like that. Um, a tip I will say is that if you move the object slightly off center, that is the object you're mirroring to, it may change, it may make the mirroring weird. And this is a ZBrush, so it's going to be hard. So make sure that your objects, for example, if you want to create, just make sure the head, if you're making the ears, make sure the head is in the center, like here. Make sure you've not moved it so that it can mirror properly, you know. So I hope this helped and I wish you good luck.